but uh, I think that we're probably going to get to a point where graphics are superseding um, are superseding like uh, what affordable graphics cards can make and therefore we're going to see a scaling back of like of in investment in graphical fidelity and whatnot and uh, see a resurgence of let's do game let's make gameplay uh, focused games where there we have a solid core mechanic that we have spent a long time refining and perfecting and curating because if you look at all the most popular games I think that you know eventually the people with the money are gonna realize this because uh, that's how everything happens in this world is it's only when the people with the money realize it um, is they're gonna look and they're gonna say hey why the hell are you guys spending 50 bi 50 not billion whoa 50 million dollars <laughs> on this game when some dude made scary monsters pop out at people with still images and it makes more money than this mm -hmm. what you, you know what five nights at freddy's was yeah was you know cobbled together with you know, <laughs> duct tape and rocks and it is one of the biggest franchises in the universe now and uh same thing you've seen with like league of legends fortnite world of warcraft even um there's honestly that's something i'm actually probably gonna be doing a video on soon is i uh, something probably along the title or the concept of i don't trust pretty games because yeah. if you have to look that good what are you hiding what do you, you know what don't you have if you do look this good um, because there are games that do both that look amazing and play amazing you know I think one that is a bit you know contentious may not be agreed upon by everyone but I think Horizon Zero Dawn did it really well hmm. in the, uh, the Horizon games I think they do good with spectacle and oh my gosh you're fighting robot dinosaurs with pr uh, primitive weapons while simultaneously being absolutely breathtaking to look at um, partially because they're first party Sony games so they have a way better understanding of the uh, uh, of the hardware that they're working with um, same thing with the, the recent Spider-Man games absolutely amazing how they look and how they uh, and how they play um, but it's there's it's definitely more common nowadays when I see a really really pretty game or especially you know a really like uh, high octane spectacle of a game trailer I'm like Okay, but what does it actually feel like to play? Yeah. <sighs> Do you think that it's possible that may, it may not be soon, but maybe ten years from now, that gaming's that games will focus so much on cinematics that people will start resorting to just watching them <laughs> on YouTube to save money? People have already done that. Yeah, yeah, I know it's happening. I'm just saying. <laughs> Do you think it'll happen? It'll be so significant that developers will actually lose money? Yes. 100 percent i well actually no i don't i think it will get close to that point and when they re realize that point or you know like i said the people with money realize that point mm. they're gonna scale back and they're gonna say hey if we were in if we wanted to invest in something that people can you know watch and possibly pirate we'd go invest in a movie yeah <laughs> because at least there there's some ticket sales that we can make money on well you also got the price of video games going up yeah, uh, especially that's... with the PS5 games going up to seventy dollars, and mm -hmm. so if games are if they're barely putting any interaction in video games where you're just basically just walking around and stuff is happening, someone some a group is eventually going to come out and say, hey, why are we dropping seventy eighty dollars on a game that we can just simply watch on YouTube and enjoy the story on? It's, it's, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, if you want us to watch your game's story, then we'll watch your game's story gladly, but we probably won't pay you for it because <clears throat> um i yeah, mentioned in movies. my oh sorry okay oh, yeah. game movies that's like a kind of a youtube uh niche that a lot of channels are filling where they'll just take all of the cutscenes and like the relevant in-game uh you know dialogue and they'll just splice it together bada bang it's a game movie wow yeah um uh, I don't know how far movies will get in general in in, in terms of interaction. I, I think some things will just get so gimmicky people won't even bother with it, and so it'll probably just fall flat anyway. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, a lot of people have level, uh, you know, leveled that comment, uh, that uh, idea, the uh, what are they called? Quantic Dream, David Cage, uh, things like Heavy Rain, like you were talking about, mm. um, Detroit Become Human. Um, those, uh, a lot of people said, so why am I watching a movie with button props? You know, if I, <laughs> I uh, as uh, as uh, zero punctuation puts it. You know, I could probably emulate this experience uh, by watching the TV and having to chase my dog to get the remote back every couple of minutes. Like, <laughs> you want you want to hear an example of cinematics taking over gameplay in a recent game? Yes, please. God of War Ragnarok. There's a part where you're um, you're playing as one of the characters, and there's a part where the enemy jumps out. You know that God of War, you know, has its button, you know, its uh, quick time events. Quick time, yeah, QTEs. So, an enemy jumps at, a, at a, a character that you're playing as, and you gotta tap circle. And so, what, what, normally, what normally happens if you don't tap on circle during a quick time event? You lose, you die. Guess what happens? Nothing happens. What? You just sit there with the enemy's blade up to your neck, and nothing happens until you interact with it. You cannot but fail. So as uh, as I've heard it, uh, I heard it referred to plenty of times. Quick time events that you can't uh, fail are just uh, please press this button to continue the game. <laughs> I you know. know. It, it, they just press pause on your remote and said please press play. <laughs> Imagine watching a movie and a, a character walks up to a door and a little button pops up the si signal fly the signal that you're supposed to tap something on the remote and it just the character just the actor just stands there awkwardly for. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I think it was Citizen Kane, but it's same vibe as um, I'm pretty sure it was Citizen Kane, where there's a scene uh, in one of the scenes. It's, it's like a play or like Ooh. late in the movie. There's a cockatoo that goes That's why you don't and need like to squawks. Be oh. This stuff. Sorry, <laughs> my um, cat just knocked over a bunch of stuff. Oh, cats. We love them <laughs> until we don't. <laughs> Um, it, was my, there a thought you needed to finish? We, I, yeah. My wife's giving me the look. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so in, like, Citizen Kane, where they had this, uh, this like, cockatoo give a squawk, and uh, the director said, yeah, I put that in there just uh, in case people were falling asleep, because this is, like, a three-hour movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I, I kind of feel like that some uh, QTEs and games absolutely get to that point where you're like, you're just checking. This is just an awakeness check. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I do think that, you know, while there are cinematic moments in games, the real test of like a well designed game is if you can create cinematic moments in gameplay itself. Um, this will probably be where we can wrap up because I since you said you're getting the look. <laughs> uh, there's two games uh, that I can point to that have really good cinematic mm. moments in gameplay uh, from soft games, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of them where you, you know, that sequence that you've been trying to, to dodge for, you know, the, your last seven attempts, and then you finally realize it's, uh, you know, that it's dodge through this, uh, get one attack in, dodge through this. Uh, wait a bit, run back, run back, and it looks, it flows so nicely, and you're like, that looked amazing. Or, mm -hmm. you know, like a lot of the Elden Ring bosses, like um, Melina and whatnot, Waterfowl Dance is absolutely beautiful and stunning to look yes. at, and looks even cooler when you dodge it. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, and so th that's a cinematic moment. And another one was um, Spider-Man uh, Spider Miles Morales, uh, the final boss fight on a on hard or the hardest difficulty was one of the coolest. Like I can't tell if I'm watching a movie or playing a game, but I definitely am. I'm not. I can't tell if I'm watching a movie or playing a game, but I am definitely pressing the buttons that's making what I'm seeing happen. Mm -hmm. Where there were so many things that would happen in fast sequence, but because I had gotten spent so much time with the game on hard mode, I was like tuned in i was in the zone so there was things like you know this boss would like throw things at you and it's like dodging grabbing it out of the air throwing it back but then she dodges it and then grabs something else rushing at you but then you dodge over her and this is all happening in like split seconds you're like 
what who's playing this game because it isn't me <laughs> <laughs> um and then the last uh, example it was in bayonetta 2 there were a couple of fights in bayonetta 2 where i was like who is controlling this because uh, getting like the perfect witch time dodges uh between like your own attacks and whatnot i couldn't tell if this was like an anime that i was watching or if i was playing a video game Th those are the moments that i'm like see that cinematic games do that more often in instead of watching spider uh watching miles morales you know beat up uh taskmaster or i forgot who the villain was supposed to be uh, i haven't played it in, since it came out um and you know watching him just beat up the the main villain was like that would have been whatever sure okay yeah yeah i win um but doing the thing that looked cinematic myself there is no feeling better and not it wasn't in a quick time event none of it was like you know anything scripted it was just use the the mechanics in game and it's a, it is a full on fight and it looks so cool um <laughs> yeah do that games if i don't know if you're anybody here that is watching that is a game publisher producer whatever make more games that when you play them right you forget if you're playing a game or watching the coolest shonen battle anime you've ever seen thank you i most definitely agree thank you for listening to this podcast clip if you want to watch more of the podcast the full podcast is in the link in the description along with my guest's channel name and if you would like to guest in a future podcast please contact me and we shall talk so we can discuss many many topics more to come other than that have a glorious day